Welcome to the 2021 Bloomberg New Economy Forum. We have more than 325 leaders in government and business that have made trips from all over the world from 40 different countries. We need action. Action that can be measured, action that be, can be qualified, action that become publicly reported, and action that will save lives. I'm optimistic that we're going to do better, and we actually took the learnings from what happened in the last 18 months. As the world's largest economy and the largest developed country, we are preparing for a world economy that will contribute to maintaining peace and stability in the world. We are preparing for a global peace summit. Through the collaboration, through technology, and through our human kindness, we'll be able to overcome a lot of challenges. There is a place for the government to work together with the private sector in a constructive way. The responsibility of our leaders is to try to fulfill it. And I must say, I think the dialogue has begun on an appropriate level. We have a crisis in learning. When you hear climate change, you get nervous, you hear I'm losing my job. So it's on us to have a just transition and make sure that everybody's included. don't invest in the future, if we don't plan and think about how we're going to transition our businesses, that ultimately we put our businesses at great risk. What Biden is trying to do, it's a long journey, but he's starting. The friends and allies, his approach is quite clear, and I think people do believe that. Welcome back to the second day of the New Economy Forum. We need much more certainty around how the U.S. and China are going to compete, where they're going to cooperate, and how they're going to manage conflict. That all dates with respect to climate commitments. But it needs dialogue between public and private sector. We need surveillance systems that can work even when the local government is dysfunctional or not interested in, in trumpeting the information. Agriculture has to become more sustainable. Yeah, now more than ever. So I think we need to make the future of the new world and the future of the world in the development of the new world and the future of the world in the development of the new world. To really make, I think, cities come alive, to be both livable and sustainable. If you understand mathematics and physics and you believe the science, this is going to happen because it's going to happen in all the rest of the world. And the United States is not stepping up to say, hey, we're the leader here. This is, everybody's got to be leaders here. Everybody's got to step in together. The democracies of the world recognizing that there is something profound they have in common, that whilst we have to deal with the rise of China and engage with it in the way that I've described, we shouldn't forget that that underlying value system is important, it unifies us, and it's worth standing up for. We think much more of economic security, much more of health security, much more of digital security. Greater levels of political maneuverability with Beijing than perhaps they had before. We're going to have to take a hard look at what are the new facts now in the global economy and how best we can manage those for our own benefit and the benefit of our friends and allies. 